Hi, and welcome back for another outdoor creation experience. My name is Ryan Lamru, and I'm the program director of the Fairhaven's Outdoor Classroom, previously called the Fair Glen Outdoor Creation Education Centre. First of all, I wanted to say thank you to all the families who joined me last summer for a turtle-themed walk and talk nature hike. We walked the shoreline, learned about these amazing creatures, and finished our hike by celebrating the birthday of a painted turtle family. One of the guests at camp saw this turtle laying its eggs here by Wally's Wharf along the Trent Severn River, and we jumped into action by making a predator guard, which is like a cage to put over the nest, with two openings cut into the corners so the turtles aren't trapped inside, with some cinder blocks to hold it down so that the raccoons and the foxes at camp didn't dig up and eat the eggs. So together, we were able to save this painted turtle family, and now I have some exciting news to show you. Let's take a look at some hatching baby turtles. Most turtle species live between 20 to 40 years, but it can take decades of nesting for just one egg to survive to replace the adult turtle that laid it. So last year, our turtle celebration was a little anticlimactic because the turtles actually hatch underneath the ground. And in this case, they actually overwinter and don't actually come out until the spring. So today is May 25th, and now we have some baby turtles coming out of the ground. So this means that this little one was underground all winter, waiting for this moment right now to finally dig itself free in search of the river. Isn't it amazing how this turtle knows exactly where the river is and can start crawling in the right direction? Turtle nests are laid in soil that is easy to dig and provides the correct amount of moisture so the eggs do not get too dry or too moist during incubation. Gravel pathways or mixed sandy river edges are a great example. Laying eggs involves the female digging a hole very slowly in true turtle style and depositing the eggs, then covering them up. There's no parental care of the eggs beyond this, and the hatchlings are on their own to find their way to the water. Oh look, I found some nice parts from the cedar tree to hide underneath for camouflage. Sadly, out of all the eight different species of turtles in Ontario, all eight of them are now listed as species at risk. This includes the snapping turtle and painted turtle, more commonly found along the Fairhaven shoreline. According to the Ontario Turtle Conservation Centre, it takes more than 100 eggs laid for just one of them to successfully hatch and then grow into an adult turtle. Fun fact, did you know that the temperature affects whether the egg develops into a male or female turtle? A long, hot summer means that more of the young turtles will develop into females. So it's interesting as we think of the impacts of a changing climate. These little guys have already survived one of the biggest challenges, which is not getting eaten as an egg. The next biggest challenge is for them to safely get down to the water. So we're gonna help them with this part of their journey by placing them safely into some cattails or reeds so that they can kind of hide and camouflage a little bit easier and uh, hopefully not get eaten. So let's cheer this little one on as it swims into the wilds of Turtle Bay and explores this section of the Fairhaven's outdoor classroom. This underwater habitat is now its new home. And just like that, this turtle is going for its very first swim. Naturally, a professional. It will take this turtle eight to 10 years before it's old enough to lay its own eggs. Other turtle species can't even lay eggs until they're at least 25 years old, which is why it's really important for us to help protect the adult turtles so they have a chance to give back to the population. Here's your fun science word for the day, ectothermic. Turtles are ectothermic or cold-blooded which means that they cannot generate their own body heat and rely on the environmental temperature to warm themselves up. You might see a turtle climb out of the water and bask or sun itself on maybe a rock or a floating log, and this is how they stay warm. For the next part of this turtle's life, we hope it looks left and right before trying to cross the road, because highways like this one, which fragment or split up the habitat and the landscape, will pose the next biggest risk to its survival. If you're interested in learning how to help a turtle safely cross the road, then keep your eyes out on this channel for an upcoming nature video on that topic. The Ontario Turtle Conservation Centre, located in Peterborough, 
now has an online resource to teach you how to build your own nest protector in case you find a turtle nesting on your property or around your schoolyard at home. Their design's a little bit more upgraded than ours with the use of pegs instead of cinder blocks to avoid shading the nest site. I will put a link to their website in the video description below. And I'm also rocking one of their shirts today. Thanks for joining me on today's virtual outdoor creation experience. Back home in your classroom or at a museum, you may have heard of the theory of evolution, which talks about how everything was created by accident. Here at the Fairhaven's Outdoor Classroom, we believe in another scientific theory that talks about how God is loving creator of all of us and these cool creatures that we're learning about. And he designed us with intentional detail, creativity, and purpose. So I hope you consider that too. Until our next nature adventure, I hope you stay curious about God's creation. This video was created in partnership with Ryan Lamru Visual Arts.